feel that people don't expect much of you or what they do expect is negative can be very defeating. It makes you give up. It's almost like you're lost in the middle of an ocean. My name is Carlos Romero. I grew up in Redwood City. It was actually really dangerous back in the day. There was a lot of gang activity. I was five when my dad left. My mom had a poor education from Mexico. She always had to work terrible jobs. It was really low pay, long hours, trying to make ends meet. We were always moving, either in someone else's apartment, room, or their garage. And I never felt like we had a place for our own. I know my mom, she wanted me to go to college. It was her dream, hoping that we could succeed. She wanted me to be someone in life, not follow the path of previous members of my family. I didn't have any sort of support for me to believe I could do it. I didn't know how. The moment I joined Build was when things started to change for me. My name is Ray Faustino. Sarah Bloom. I started working with Build in September of 2007. We teach students the basics of entrepreneurship, how to write a business plan in their first year. Then we give them $1,000 in seed funding to actually start the business. It's not necessarily about like whether or not the business fails or succeeds. It's about the entrepreneurial journey. I met Carlos right away. He was a class clown, and he was pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie. Like, he was difficult um, in a lovable way. I was the kid that wanted attention as well when I was growing up. It's kind of like almost like a call for help. I remember driving Carlos home a few times, getting to really see signs of gang activity around him. He had seen many others make a more destructive choice. I felt so pressured to be one of them because I was growing up with him. There was two choices to make, following the past with the gang members or doing something different. Well, I saw somebody who like really wanted to go somewhere with his life. Bill gave me the opportunity to start my own business. They treated me like I was one of them, and I was going to go through college, and I was going to be as successful as them. You can just see them have this aha moment. This dream that my mom had, the dream that I thought would never come true, did. I'm attending UC Davis. I'm majoring in economics and statistics. my brothers, I give them hope. We might be in a really bad position in life. We might not have the best opportunities. But we could still be successful. None of us are who we are without the influence of others in our lives. I absolutely believe in Carlos. My life is on track because someone showed me that it could be. 